Hey guys, how you doing? This is going to be a short video. I'm going to speak briefly today on narcissistic personality disorder, or I'm just going to say narcissism from a mental health perspective. I decided to, to go back and talking about this. I've done several videos on this, particularly on my D Durrell Life Solutions channel. I think I may have posted an old video on this channel. You may can go and check it out. But I'm going to talk about narcissistic personality disorder and how it looks um, within our community um, as far as the over <laughs> of it, particularly on black YouTube and in social media. Because narcissism is a word, a mental health diagnosis that is greatly um, misunderstood on social media. Number one, and I want to pose this and let everybody know, uh, because I hear a lot of women calling men narcissists. And then I hear a lot of men who claim that women are narcissists. And then I've seen people do videos stating how mothers and grandmothers were narcissists and so forth. I'd like you to know, statistically speaking... Um, there are certain disorders, particularly personality disorders, that you will see more males being diagnosed than females. Narcissistic personality just so happens to be a personality disorder. Cluster B personality disorder in which the overwhelming majority of people who are diagnosed somewhere between 90 and 95 percent is most probably going to be males. There's a small percentage of women who are diagnosed with uh, narcissistic personality disorder. And I'm going to give you another disorder that's, is, that's the direct opposite. When you look at another cluster B disorder, which is called histrionic personality disorder. Histrionic personality dis disorder has a tendency to overwhelmingly be females and very few males. Histrionic personality disorder and narcissistic have a lot of similar characteristics. The only difference is that in histrionic personality disorder, it's 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 more dealing with the fact that a person is um, strategically attempting to say disparaging things or do negative things to others in order to uplift themselves, particularly identifiable people that are in their social structure, as opposed to a person who's narcissist, who's more inapt to, who's more in, in, inapt to not necessarily say negative things or try to bring you down neg negatively, but to use you or to manipulate to think that they are better than what they really are. There, there's a difference. There's a difference in that. And so when we're talking about that, I think that more and, and I think that many clinicians, when they are looking at a person who may share a little bit of that intra intra cluster um, type of situation where they may run cor comorbid per se, I think most clinicians are going to have a tendency to give the female histrionic and give the male narcissism, narcissistic personality disorder, but also in narcissism. There's also similar characteristics to antisocial personality disorder. So I'm not going to get too, 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 too technical on that, but I just wanted to bring, throw that out there. So when I speak of narcissists or narcissism in, in a sense, I'm going to mainly talk about things that males, males do in which they personify this type of illness because 90% of the time plus it's usually a male. You know, it's it's just what it is. Not to say that there aren't they're not female nesters, very few. Mostly you're gonna see males. So in the community, I want you to understand just because a person may have one or two traits that are, are and that's what I usually find as people talk about it, they look at one or two traits and they and they think that those traits or several traits. Those traits mean you have the illness. I myself, <laughs> it's funny how everybody wants to play this diagnostician. They want to be the psychologist, the counselor, clinician. I was unprofessionally diagnosed with narcissistic personality by a lady in another sector. And she based it on the fact that I act similar 
to her boyfriend. <laughs> That's hilarious. But it's funny how everybody wants to play therapists. Everybody want to play psychologists and psychiatrists. And they think that they know what they're doing. And I'm, it's just laughable. But I see this a lot. And one of the main things that I know that nullifies what they say is, number one, they're not trained. They don't have the education. They don't have the practical knowledge. And they don't understand assessments and appraisals, number one, you know, just, just to state that. The next thing that I'm looking at is that when these people are saying that uh, another person that did them wrong was a narcissist, they're saying it out of a place of subjectivity. They're saying it out of a place of trauma, pain. Um, they're saying it out of a place of discomfort. They're not objective in what they're thinking. They're saying it out of emotion and not necessarily from a state of fact and understanding how to clinically die to, to say these type of things. It's basically you not happy that someone did you wrong. And so now you're going to label them as something to make yourself feel better because you read something on WebMD or Psychology Today, or some other psychological um, orientated platform. And hey, look, I saw the features. That's exactly what they are. No, it's not. Because narcissism is not just relegated to how a person just treats you. Narcissism is also is a cumulative understanding of how they treat people in general, not just you. Just because a person treated you that way doesn't mean they're going to treat another person that way. A person who is a narcissist treats everybody that way. And that, to me, is a summation of what makes a personality disorder. It's an overall um, addition, an, over, an overall effect of a variety of behaviors that were developed over a time that caused dysfunction in your life internally and, and externally in how you treat people in your environment. And, and the way you treat those people in your environment, each cluster A, B, and C, it causes dysfunction. It causes disorder in, in the way you you interact, relationships, romantic, non-romantic, family, just dealing with people in general. So, too many times people look at selfishness and think you're a narcissist. Selfishness alone is not enough to say that a person is a narcissist. A person's um, extreme self-love, which is one of the key components in itself alone is not enough. That's that extreme self-love has to, in some way, um, involve your, your, the, the, because of how you feel about yourself, that thought is a stems from you mistreating and manipulating others so that they also think of you in the way that you think of yourself. Many narcissists, when you look at the diagnostic criteria, they have an, an, an uh, they have an embellished or grandiose thought of self, particularly earning and doing things that they have not accomplished. Many of them are underachievers, but they think they're actually at a higher level than what they are. And they despise those that don't treat them as if they have excelled and have obtained the things that they want to believe in their mind. They need you to validate the lies that they believe. Okay? So, there's a tendency in social media when we use narcissism, we're thinking of, of several little traits, but you're looking at everything from a subjective standpoint, and you're looking at it specifically on how a person treated you instead of how a person has treated everybody around them. Because a person is not just going to be a narcissist to you. They're going to be a narcissist to everybody in their, in their family. Everybody in their family. No matter how close they are or not close. So, this is just a summation of that to just kind of give you a little bit more clarification of narcissism and how it's incorrectly used. It's the overusage incorrectly used. And in many times is used, the times it is used to be for women is to me somewhat laughable because again, 90 plus percent of the time, it's going to be a male. And then we're going to say, well, D. Durrell, what about it? Why are you going to say this? Stop it. Stop it. Just like histrionic personality disorder is mainly women. Just like borderline personality disorder is mostly women. These are all cluster C, I mean, um, cluster B disorders.
They're mainly women. Okay? So, there's no discriminatory gender leaning. It's just basically, we're looking at Western culture. We're looking at the environment that we grew up, American culture, per se. This is the likelihood of that happening. Um, relevant to the culture that you grew up in, that you're in. So, this is D. Durrell, D. Durrell Life Solutions. Have a great day. Peace.